Hello friends, I am Anamika of class 10B. I am from Navaday Convent Senior Secondary School. Today, I am going to present a documentary based on architecture and mathematics in Sikkim. Architecture and mathematics both are related as since with other subjects, architects use mathematics for several reasons. Apart from its use in engineering buildings, architects use geometry first to define a spatial form of building Second, to architect a building according to the golden ratio to make it beautiful. Third, to architect a building using mathematical concepts with religion, etc. Today, I am going to tell you that how mathematics have been used in the architecture of Sikkim. As we all know, Sikkim lies at an altitude of 8000 meters and as the altitude increases, the stability of the structure decreases. And as the stability of structure decreases, we need to apply more and more of mathematics. So, without any further delay, let's begin discussing some of the monuments of Sikkim. The first monument we are going to discuss today is the Solo Folk Charma. This unique pilgrim center has a main temple of 108 feet high on which is built a high statue of Lord Shiva as the sitting posture on Solo Folk Hill. The pilgrim center is constructed on the top of the Solofok hill which is about 5 kilometers away from the Namji town over an area of 28.958 hectares of land. The builder complex covers an area of 7 acres and is accessible by a smooth road. The next monument we are going to discuss today is the Rumtek Monastery. It is a Tibetan Buddhist monastery located 24 kilometers away from Gangtok at an altitude of 5,100 feet. This is one of the most significant monasteries in Sikkim established to spread the teachings of the Buddha throughout the world. It is also known as the Dhan Church Center. So, now we are going to observe that how polygons have been formed in the monasteries of Sikkim. But before that, I want to ask you a question that do you know what are polygons? So, polygons are the closed surfigures which are formed by line segments. For example, triangles, squares, trapezium, etc. So, in these monuments of Sikkim, you can see some of the polygons formed. First one is the Runjek Monastery. The second one is the Anke Monastery. And the third and the last one is the Payment Day Monastery. So, I hope you learned something new about the architecture and mathematics. Thank you for your precious time. I hope you learned something new. Thank you and have a nice day.